Let's go over the Mirror Cave in Star Wars The Last Jedi. This is Mike Zero here once again. If you guys are new here to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. So one of the biggest scenes, and quite honestly it's a creepy one in my opinion, is when Rey goes down to the Mirror Cave. This is actually located beneath the blowhole that is over the cliff facing the Ocean of Ock 2. Now this all takes place just after Rey's first lesson from Luke Skywalker in which eventually she gets too attached to the dark side. She doesn't let herself go essentially and she eventually breaks free thanks to Luke shouting Rey, Rey and she breaks free from all of that. So what's really intriguing to me is the mirror cave itself. So there was a lot of confusion about this scene and thankfully director Ryan Johnson cleared things up. I know there were mixed reactions on the execution of this scene as to why there are so many rays in single file. So this is what Ryan Johnson had to say about the scene. Well, the idea that this natural place reflected the idea that if there's a Jedi temple up top, the light, it has to be balanced by a place of great darkness. We're drawing a very obvious connection to Luke's training and to Dagobah here, obviously. He goes on to say, and so the idea was, if the top is the light, down underneath is the darkness. And she descends down into there and has to see, just like Luke did in the cave, her greatest fear. And the greatest fear is that in the search for identity, she has nobody but herself to rely on and she is seeing infinite versions of herself for eternity. So what's really great about all of this, and I know once again there were mixed reactions on this scene, but each and every one of those rays are different rays. And when she actually goes up to that rock or that mirror, right? And you see the shadowy figure approaching Rey, eventually it comes close to her, and it's just her face. So that's herself relying on herself as to figuring out her identity, exactly where she comes from in this world. So that's the whole entire concept of the mirror cave. The fact that she has infinite versions of herself in single file is an interesting idea. Was it too over the top, guys? I would love to hear your opinion on that below in the description. Myself, personally, I liked the idea. I thought it was somewhat actually creepy and very, very vague in a sense because we didn't necessarily know where this was going in the very beginning. Sure, it needed some form of explanation, but I will say one thing is that Luke Skywalker's cave sequence when he faces Darth Vader and beheads him when he sees his face is inside the helmet, that to me is a whole lot better. Just saying. So guys, I hope you all enjoyed the content for today. And if you did, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support. And I'll catch you guys next time.